Worldview Presents How to Manage Your Emotions, Make You Emotionally Mature You and your friend need to ace the exam on Friday in order to avoid summer classes, and after a week of studying, you're both confident that you'll succeed. However, when you receive your grades, they are significantly lower than what the two of you expected. You're inconsolable. You wonder why you can't get over this like your friend can, because they don't seem bothered by it. However, is trying to see the positive side really worth it? Is it even possible to regulate our emotions at all? The last question has an unequivocal yes as the response. There are many methods for controlling our emotions, and the process model is one framework for comprehending these methods. This tool is used by psychologists to determine when and how to enter the process of emotion formation. There are four stages to this process. The first is when we enter a situation, either real or imagined, and it grabs our attention. Then we assess the situation to see if it advances or obstructs our objectives. Finally, this evaluation results in a series of modifications to our feelings, thoughts, and behaviors known as an emotional response. A chance to consciously intervene and alter our emotions is presented at each stage of this process, and the process model outlines possible tactics for doing so. Imagine being invited to the same party as your least favorite ex and their new partner in order to see this in action. Your first course of action might be to skip the party in order to completely avoid the situation. But if you go, you might also try to change things by deciding not to speak to your ex. If that's proving to be difficult, you might want to focus on something else instead of your ex's new partner, like playing a game with your friends. Another option is to reconsider your perspective on the situation. After giving things serious thought, you may realize that you don't care who your ex dates. If none of these strategies work, you can always try calming down your emotional reaction after the fact. However, this can be difficult. Many of the simplest methods, such as hiding your emotions or attempting to change them with recreational drugs, generally result in more negative feelings and health concerns in the long run. Going for a long walk, taking slow, deep breaths, or talking with someone in your support system are more sustainable strategies here. While it takes practice to master all of these strategies, learning to recognize your emotions and reflect on where they're coming from is half the battle. And once you've truly internalized the fact that you can control your emotions, it becomes much easier. But should you use these techniques to stay in a good mood all the time? That answer is dependent on how you define good mood. It's tempting to believe that we should always avoid sadness and frustration, but no emotion is inherently good or bad. They're either helpful or unhelpful depending on the situation. For example, if a friend tells you about the death of a loved one, feeling and expressing sadness is not only appropriate, it can also help you empathize with and support them. While it is unhealthy to ignore your emotions on a regular basis, forcing a smile to get through a one-time annoyance is perfectly reasonable. We get a lot of contradictory messages about emotions. Some people tell us to stay positive, while others tell us to simply accept our emotions as they come. In reality, each individual must strike their own balance. So, to answer the question, should you always try to be happy? No, it does not. According to research, people who are obsessed with happiness frequently experience secondary negative emotions such as guilt, frustration over being upset, and disappointment that they are not happier. This is not to say that you should give in to sadness or anger. However, strategies such as reappraisal can assist you in re-evaluating your thoughts about a situation, allowing you to accept that you are sad and cultivate hope that things will improve. Liking this video lets us know that we're on the right track and subscribing to our channel helps us keep growing and improving. So hit that like button and subscribe to stay tuned. Thanks for watching.